Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is just disconnect the battery. So the main reason we're disconnecting the battery is because the fuel is gonna have to get drained. Um, we don't wanna have any chance of any kind of spark or anything, so um, just to be safe. And then also we're gonna to have to disconnect the lines leading into the uh, headlights. To drain the gas, I'm gonna be using this little transfer pump. Um, I'll link the uh, code for that on Amazon, uh, but it works pretty well. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is just make sure your fuel is all the way off. And then we're gonna disconnect this line from here. Um, we might get a little bit that spills out of here, um, but I have something underneath to catch that. Um, but basically you wanna get this glass bowl off and this disconnected. The main reason to take the glass bowl off and set it somewhere safe is so that when you're pulling all this off, you don't accidentally um, crack it or anything. So that's what we'll work on next. This is a 7 16 That's disconnected there. Okay, and then this just is held on by like a spring basically, so then that can come loose. Okay, so up here I'm just disconnecting the lines, the positive and negative that lead up to the front for the uh, headlights. So we'll bring that back. That's gonna be different based on um, how your headlights are run for yours. Um, Cause that's something that I had to rewire myself. Okay, so that's all disconnected. I got the wire that runs from the starter uh, back to the alternator, pulled down out of there as well. Um, so all of my cables are completely clear of the uh, fuel tank and hood. So when this all comes up and out of the way, it won't hook anything. And then looking at it from inside here as well, um, you've got like, uh, the gauges here that attach, um, but those are actually on a separate piece. So you'll see this part here is all gonna stay. It's just this top part here. Then it runs down your headlights, your grill, um, and off the other side is what's gonna all come up and out of place. So um, we're gonna get that all unbolted and then we'll take that off next. So these bolts here are just a uh, half inch Okay, so on this, um, you've got little like retainer clips that come down and that allows the hood to come forward. This one's got a little bit dented up, so it's not the easiest. But then that lets it fold down and forward. And from here, we're gonna try and take these bolts here out. Okay, so for these side ones, uh, this is an 11 16th. Once you get the one side out, this front bumper can come free. You just set that off to the side, or front grill, I guess, rather. rather. Okay, once you do both sides of that, then um, the front hood is gonna be clear. You wanna take your radiator cap off, because obviously you're gonna need to come up and around that. So that is <laughs> removing a hood by yourself. It's way easier with the second person. Uh, I would definitely recommend having a second person, but it can be done. Okay, so what you just watched was a clip from a longer video. If you found this interesting, or if it's a project you're working on, there should be a link popping up that shows the full process. Uh, so feel free to watch that whole thing. If you just came to watch the short, short portion and kind of the most interesting part, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks so much. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Mm -hmm.